game coming up, uh, Perth Raiders from Australia in blue and Barcelona, their second game, uh, Spanish girls look, in white. Look what Branco say for me. Laura, it's Lorena, but it's okay. I don't mind. I mean, if I'm sweet as my lollipop, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she is, I, I can tell you. <laughs> can I have that? Team's getting ready. With the signature, it's live. <laughs> okay, so 10 minutes. Here we go, game starts. First Raiders and Barcelona. First Raiders from Australia. Go Aussies and Barcelona. Go Barcelona. Vamos, Barcelona. Yes, you did it right. <laughs> I know. Julian told me I can't speak Spanish, uh, at least pronunciation. So I'm curious about uh, Australia, what they put in the water. And we have uh, uh, less than 30 seconds and already a call from... Okay, blue free throw because of side out. It was out of the field. Yes, Jose Castros, they also pay for the flights and the travel stuff. That's correct. Amazing. That's what uh, development of underwater rugby needs if you have the support, uh, at least from the regional uh, government and from the organizations around it. It's really amazing. Okay, back in the game. Sorry, Australia um, is uh, going for the basket of the Spanish girls, and uh, no, wrong, wrong side again. No. No, I'm right. <laughs> Where am I? Ah, uh, this is the movement camera. So, we have uh, the Australians trying to attack over the close side. Okay, we see, because when you see a new team, you always look, what do they know? And they do it uh, quite right. They uh, take positions on the other side of the basket while the attack comes from the close side. We haven't seen a good attack uh, yet, but the, the, the intention is there and they know what they're doing. So let's see how they execute it when they get into the yeah. game. This is the first time we have a female um, Australian team in the Champions Cup. So yeah. also we don't know the kind of uh, tactic they use. You know, we are learned that in different continents, uh, the, the, the game really developed differently. Look what happened in, in Colombia. And, and now let's see, you know, what's going on in Australia, which kind of influence. So first had. time on the Australian basket and uh, Barcelona didn't hold on to the ball the way they should to get out of the dangerous zone around the basket again but they uh, recover the ball and go in again oh, oh they score. that was uh, really quick was and uh, surprising Here. <laughs> number eight white number team number eight number eight i think it was karina no lina lina bautista from barcelona just a score against the Go. Australian women. Great job. That's really amazing. And interesting executed. She didn't even fought much. It was just uh, next to the shoulder and the head of the goalkeeper just into the goal without much resistance. Interesting. Nice From goal. Above. I mean, well, yeah, well seen. Yeah. So again, uh, uh, Spain is uh, in attack mode and uh, they have a push now because they are leading and they see a chance to win this game uh, when they go on like that. Um, let's see how Australian girls react to um, this situation because I don't think they have much international experience even though some, some of the players play for Hamburg, I think, uh, one of them at least. And they have uh, at least experience in Germany, some of them, but not all of them. <coughs> um, how long has been um, underwater rugby developing in Australia? I don't know Five for sure. Five years or so? Yeah, some Ricardo, if you're listening, how, how long, or, t or even longer than five years? Can you tell me? Ah, okay, that was um, the, the defender got hold of the ball, but he, she tried to pass back to the goalkeeper in a difficult situation, and now they lost the ball uh, in the counter-attack. They lost the ball in their half, in the half of uh, uh, Barcelona. But this could be... Uh, Really a chance for Barcelona girls to win this game because they, s they look like they are more experienced in the water, the way their uh, players interact with each other and how they structure their defense and attack. But let's see. We also have to put into uh, uh, 
consideration some of these players are still in uh, heavy in jet lag they arrived on Thursday so uh, it's quite hard we heard it from the players last year now we are uh, on the above uh, the uh, Spanish basket and there is an Australian player coming down hard on the basket was uh, is called from the referee and the referees going up let's hear what we have oh, it's from the blue one. free throw attacking the equipment okay uh, free throw for the blue team and uh, Australian player tried to steal away the basket but didn't succeed and uh, they're yeah. attacking from above but they're being stopped by the Spanish women no, we don't have the ball in the picture, but they seem to be on the surface of the cluster. And uh, the Spanish defense is on the basket waiting. If you hear the word abajo, abajo in Spanish from the referee area, that means down, go down in Spanish. Well, that's always a good idea if you play on water rugby, yep. go down. We're already six minutes in the first half. Barcelona has the ball and is going on the bottom of the pool. Almost a counter attack. That was a little bit slow for the counter attack. Yeah, and she was all alone and she was yeah. already on the basket for a while. Ah, okay, I didn't see yeah. that. Yeah. Right. So uh, Barcelona tries to break through the foot checking defense of Australia, succeeds and is now at the basket of Australia. And uh, they, they try to, to punch their way into the defense of uh, Australia. And they come from the close side, but they're tackled away. Call from the referee. Holding. Holding. Blue free throw. Okay, so. So back, uh, we go back the to the basket Australia. of uh, Barcelona. But the Spanish girls know the drill and already go in defense to protect their basket. And here we go, Australia is trying to uh, break through the defense of Spain, um, but does not succeed. And uh, the, the attack does not seem that structured uh, anymore. In the beginning we saw yeah, some players yeah, positioning themselves right, but yeah. then when they go down, now they go one uh, against the whole defense. And it looks like a bit they, they are losing... Uh, they, they, they were a bit more here we go, now, now we have a chance if they go on. That's a good pass, she didn't see it. Ah, she missed it. That's really sad. There was, a, there was a good positioning and a good pass, but the one waiting at the open side of the basket, she didn't see it. Now we have a counter attack from Barcelona against uh, the Australian basket. Well, Barcelona has been playing the Champions Cup since years now. They have been really working a lot in improving uh, the, um, the, the tactics and at the beginning here they really used to look very high um, but now they're a much stronger team and well even if you're a good team like in, in Australia but you don't have that international experience and being also under pressure uh, you're nervous here we go we have a counter attack from Australia uh, she should have punched through with the mask she had she would have managed probably if she uh, uh, but she was out of air. I think that's uh, the main trick with one of these counter-attacks to go for the last uh, meters with, uh, with no air. And uh, we have again the, tr the, the, the... She tried to go uh, one alone into the defense of Barcelona. For this, uh, Barcelona has too much experience to let that happen. So it's a uh, 1 minute 15 in this first half of Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. And uh, you're watching the Perth Riders from Australia in blue against Barcelona from Spain in white. My name is Wolf and with me is Lorena and we have 198 visitors in our live stream. So Australia tries again, uh, still holding on to the ball. But now uh, Barcelona is again on the run for the Australian basket. But are stopped by Australian forward checking. And this could even be a chance for, uh, for a counter-attack for Australia. That's quite 
nicely done, but there is no other player. And uh, if you play close to the surface up, uh, it's always difficult to to stay free of the four checking attacks. So here we are again at the basket uh, of uh, the Spanish yeah, women. Yeah, it looks a bit like the Australian maybe are... I don't want to... Maybe they feel a bit disappointed that they got a score and that we lost a little bit of... Uh, well, I don't know. That was a... Um, the first half definitely belonged to... Uh, in Game-wise to uh, Barcelona. Um, they they look they have more experience here in the picture we see Bobby Simpson he's uh, he's also here um, we have quite an international uh, experienced Hopefully uh, Singapore can do it next year that would be so nice yes right? yes so Singapore if you are uh, listening and tuned in uh, we like to hear more from you please uh, you already are on on Facebook and up to this moment, sadly, that's our only means to communicate with the underwater world. But we want to change that. I think that's an important point because uh, Facebook is not meant to communicate. It's just to face each other. And that's not what we want. We want to exchange knowledge. We want to um, harvest knowledge. We would it want to put it into a presentable way, all the knowledge we have about underwater rugby. And Facebook no way it is not the way to present knowledge and even to talk about uh, underwater rugby it's too much all over the place and you don't have a structure you need to get access to knowledge in underwater rugby so i think we need a platform where we can store access and uh, keep develop, it flexible yeah, and develop uh, so that every new team uh, doesn't have to start everything from scratch. Yes, I mean we have we have to start. Otherwise, the the top teams they just uh, uh, lose their knowledge because players stop playing. And we have this situation here in Berlin. Uh, we have uh, one really successful team, which was uh, German champion once, uh, the Berlin Underwater Rugby Club, uh, B U R, and uh, they are really experienced players. Um, with a long, long history of playing, started, I think, 15, uh, some of them started to play. So they play, I don't know, like over 30 years. 30 so years now. Um, but, but when they stop, will stop playing, um, all this knowledge will be lost. And we have to find means to make videos, to, to write it down, and we have to start soon. Because otherwise we will have more and more teams in this growing community who start from scratch. We have to help well, them without... Without that, they will will be inventing the wheel or trying to invent the wheel again and again. Well, I mean, I think Google Drive is a, is a good means to work on a document. You have two or three persons, but then Teams getting ready. to access to the knowledge, you need to have just like a, a quick answer to uh, Ulster and Cato. Uh, Google there, Drive. Yeah. Google Drive is. Pardon me. I was answering to him, but continue. <laughs> and back in the game, I tell you, I will explain it to you a little bit later. Back in the game, Australia has the ball. And uh, I don't see the ball. Uh, yeah, they managed to break three to the corner close side. And now Australia is going hard on the Spanish basket. But it was only one player. And she was already tackled away by other players, by uh, uh, Spanish players. So she didn't exceed. You, normally in an experienced team, you don't go in alone to score. Um, not in this case. It's, it's only... Uh, um, if there is no other way, you you seem do it because there is no other player, and that's in this case not what it should be. Okay, um, Australia. Uh, um, Barcelona is starting a counter attack. Um, they're just getting to the bottom of the of the goalie, but uh, Australia re really reached the position. Um, yeah, you think she's she's holding herself a little bit every now and then. The goalie from Australia, at least this is what it looks like from. My guess is it's it's. Uh, I haven't talked to them yet. Uh, I know only some of them, but uh, they don't seem that experienced, uh, which is not a, a, a problem. Experience comes from playing. That's great. They are here, 
Um, but you see these small little mistakes not happening in the Spanish team, but happening in the Australian team. And great respect, you came over here to learn. That's how it should be. And we hope we can uh, give you the experience you need to develop. And, and a lot of times also when you are nervous, you don't realize. I also was told a few times yeah. that I just gripped the, the goalie and I didn't even realize. And I yeah. didn't really want to do that. So here we go. Australia is going, uh, trying to go uh, for uh, an attack through in the half of uh, the Spanish pool and uh, they are through they are at the other side on the wall of the Spanish basket and uh, but the wall was lost no, and recovered again it. and this is a chance there's a good chance the from down under alone. that was quite nice and well done the ball was right in the hand of the player uh, down under the goalkeeper but she didn't have a, a good Vantage point to pull up, and, uh, and the push up. Defense will react and, and Holding wrap blue free throw. Okay. So apparently falling. So Australia has another chance with a free throw to go into the basket of Spain. Yeah, Ocean. Wiki was um, our idea. Yes. To do something like that exactly. Um, this is a, a bit of a better platform to reach out for... Wiki would want part to doing this uh, knowledge base, definitely. We agree. Um, okay, back in the game, sorry. We, we, we answer it holding. in the break. <laughs> free throw holding again for Australia. These free throws could be really a chance to score if you uh, execute them fast and have your players in spot to... Uh, to go for the kill on the basket but right here we see it, it's a little bit too slow to be dangerous for the basket of Spain but nevertheless the Australian women succeed in keeping a hold on to the ball and uh, try to build up another attack wave now coming in but uh, ball snatch away call from the referee Probably holding without ball. Holding wide free throw. Holding wide free throw, and uh, that's a change. Now Spain is trying to attack or do something out of the free throw, and is coming towards the defender of the Australian team. Mm, Karina got the ball there and it's been held by like three Aussies. Um, and now they're on the surface. It's a pity because one of the Spanish players had um, stolen the, 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 the basket. But now they're almost in the middle field trying to recover the ball. And Australia still in possession of the ball, I believe, or they're fighting. Okay, now Barcelona has it again. But they need to build a bit more of a structure attack. I mean, it's a pity uh, because if they could have two or three wave or four wave, then then to force a mistake. But like this, uh, they have been the, the Australian has need need, need to do a, a mistake on their own, and they're not forcing it. So let's see what Australia does with this uh, attack. Takes a little bit too long for the next players to come down and uh, execute the next wave. They seem exhausted and out of air. Um, the players come in the last moment um, to release their player, but they... Now we go. You have uh, two players attacking, but one was tackled away, and the ball is not free on the surface. And uh, we have a cluster there. We have a cluster, a header cluster, and it's uh, unclustered. And now we don't see the wall. Four, min four minutes, 15 uh, left in the second half here. Call from the referee. Rough gaming. Rough gaming, here we go. Thank you for your suggestions, uh, Eisen Kalto. Uh, we'll, come, we'll come back to you in the break about that uh, topic. Uh, 
So uh, Australia is now back again attacking. Um, they 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 have the will. You see it. They want to go through, but they are lacking a little bit the technical uh, finesse to to find the hole and to go in together to force uh, a gap uh, and and force it by playing tactically and not by uh, uh, physical force. It's not always the answer, but uh, I have the feeling they are exhausted. And it's just a change and change of uh, ball uh, from one to the next, but no strategy to attack here. And uh, Barcelona keeps it cool. They are leading. They have two and a half, three minutes. But nevertheless, if uh, they catch a goal now, uh, they have to fight even harder. So they should keep the ball more away. And since they don't succeed, I guess uh, Australia is putting a lot here in the water. Yeah, I'm really surprised because um, Barcelona was uh, really domi dominating. <coughs> Sorry, the game before, but right now Australia has a little bit more of um, will to maybe change the result. Let's go for a one-one. Here we and go. Now we have Barcelona is going fast, but she is all alone and stopped in the middle. We have but two minutes left, and uh, and we are at the basket of Australia, and Barcelona is trying to come in from the close side. That's a good chance. Uh, we don't see it uh, uh, all that good, but it was an attack from the close side to the head of the goalkeeper. Now they are waiting in the close corner and trying to wait for someone from the team to dive and now uh, start a wave of attacking but uh, well they're being catched by one of the Australian girls and pulled to the surface still above the goalie of the Australian team and now they're coming toward the goalie trying to move her but uh, this player from Barcelona is pulled apart by one of the Australian players and now there's something call from the referee there is something what is something time Lorena? Out. time out time, time out. out blue team blue team so the, but Australian the time out was not the something well the you need something before the something of a timeout so we have now a timeout that uh, the Austrians uh, Austrians sorry Australians <laughs> Two minutes left, I think, and uh, one zero for Barcelona and an attack that I came from above. Uh, uh, even I mean, when the goalie and the defenders of the Australian team were into position, the Barcelona attacker just came from above, moved the goal a bit to the side, and scored. And this was in the first time. Second time on. Yep. So. Just few seconds left from the timeout. Probably they're trying to get a bit of a structure and organize to see if in the last few minutes they can, ch you know, change things around. And um, timeout, white team. Now, now it's a timeout for the white team. <laughs> okay, we go from timeout to timeout here. Let's see. We have. So I want to send out a big thanks also to our uh, multimedia uh, uh, team who's uh, around there taking pictures and uploading them on Facebook. Great job from you guys. Thank you very much. Around the pool is Charlotte and Eva uh, with a camera and uploading pictures on Facebook for you. So you can, uh, even if you're not watching the live stream, you have memories here. So nine seconds left uh, <coughs> from the second timeout. Teams getting ready. It's a blue free throw. Okay, blue, blue free throw now. Teams getting ready. Blue free throw. All right. So it's one minute left, 50 seconds, and the Australians want to try to achieve. 
a score in these last 45 seconds with the free throw. They were they're coming from above. They're really attacking and pull the goalie from the Barcelona team away. And now it's stuck with two Barcelona players now on the safest surface and they're holding her. And now it's the question who recovers the ball and if they can do something about it in the next 20 seconds. I mean, we have scored a goal in the last two, three seconds of a game. Who is you? Well, the Berlin uh, women, we were playing the Champions Cup uh, back in the day. Back so, in the day! Yeah. I'd love to hear that from you. Makes, makes us look like an old couple. Okay, wide free throw, three seconds left, two, one, zero. Okay. That's a win one for Barcelona. For Barcelona, you can hear the girls screaming, being really but, happy. But let's say uh, well done Australia for the first uh, female team here in the Champions Cup. And uh, very well done, congratulations. Thank you for coming all the way. To, to be honest, and I don't want to be unfair, I can't remember if the Barcelona girls won a game in the past uh, in the Champions Cup because Not normally sure they tend to do the last places uh, normally. And I, again, I, 